Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to loop noise displacement animation. First, create a sphere by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing sphere from the pop-up palette. Then, click on the sphere in the object manager, go to the object tab, increase the number of sphere segments to 100 and change the sphere type from standard to hexahedron to make the sphere elements more unified which in turn will ensure a more similar displacement on different parts of the sphere. Further, create a displacer deformer by clicking and holding on the band icon and choosing displacer from the pop-up palette. After that, make the displacer deformer a child of the sphere. Click on the displacer in the object manager, go to the shading tab, click on the small triangle to the right of the shader and select noise from the drop-down menu. To make the surface smoother, create a subdivision surface by clicking on the subdivision surface icon and make the sphere object a child of the subdivision surface object. Now select the displacer object in the object manager, click on the noise button to open the noise shader properties, go to the shader tab, open the noise property drop-down menu and choose, let's say, box. To animate the noise displacement, set the animation speed. The higher the animation speed, the faster the patterns will change during animation. Let's set the animation speed to 1. Below is the loop period property, which defines the loop time in seconds. The loop period property supports most type of noise, with a few exceptions, such as electric, gaseous and wave turbulence noise types. Let's set the loop period to 2, so that the noise displacement animation loops seamlessly every 2 seconds or every 60 frames in a 30 frames per second project. Finally, reduce the timeline to 60 frames and click on the play for us button in the animation toolbar. It's ok. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.